first covenant of making myself an insect, changing into an insect. To join the family of Rose Krua, you make seven, you make six covenants. After making those six covenants, the, the witchcraft, those that bewitches us all that time, they all, use, they all serve the devil. But they take, they take your, the, the spirit, that weird spirit, you start becoming weird and wicked. You start killing people on the village. You start doing wicked things when you do not expect any, any place from it. The spirit of Lozikrua is a bad spirit so much. After making the covenants of Lozekrua, you, st you swear, you make a covenant of, for, of the pharmacy. Together they become 12 covenants. There you be a servant of Satan that is believed by the Satan. You, when you make those 12 covenants, you can move from Rwanda without boarding you go you move from Rwanda to America without boarding anything meaning when you reach there you the one you will talk with the one you will converse with the one you will sit with that will be that will be a, a from a soul. and that spirit is a spirit that it comes in a spirit of confusion people confuse themselves they appear as God's people and no one will, will know it when you don't have the God spirit. That's a bad spirit that is confusing a lot of people. And I want to tell you that I was supposed to make that oath of joining the Lozikrua family. They made me swear making an oath and uh, made a covenant. I was given the authority of changing myself into an insect or a frog. They told me they were going to start sending me on the earth. And when they send me, I'm supposed to do what they have told me to do. There was a servant of God in a church, in a certain church nearby Alpha Palace, near Ilemeda. There was a servant of God having, preaching a sermon about about to deliverance from captives, from captivity. They told me we've sent you to kill him. You can confuse him, you can do everything, but we've not sent you to do that. We've sent you to kill him and he dies in front of his followers and in front of people seeing him. I came up, I entered the church, before I entered, I saw an usher standing on the doorway of the church. I saw that usher would not, would not do anything to me because she had some one of our spirits. More so, when we would find, when we would find a God, a God-filled spirit person. You would not ma manage to see that person. You would just see something right. You would see a light, and that light would, would burn into your eyes, would shine into your eyes, in that you would not see that person. And it would not let you do what they sent you to do. You would stand in the doors until the service ends. But I, was, I, got, I got a chance, because that time, when I, I found that Asha had one of our spirits, she welcomed me and greeted me. She welcomed me well. And I told her, because I want to get saved, I want to reach where I will listen to the, to the word of God carefully. She welcomed me and took me in the front seat. I sat after sitting. When I would, when I would reach the church, I would first count the, the corners of the church. I would first put there the messengers, all the angels of Satan in every corner. On the doorway I, put, I would put there 
the one called Chambuzi that would be having a blush to be brushing whatever, whatever that you've heard from church. You would hear everything, but when you reach the doorway, that Chambuzi would get a brush and brushes everything, whatever you've heard from church, and you reach outside when you're empty tin. But he would let you remain with that word, oh, I've been touched, I've been built. You would feel whatever you've heard has touched you, but you would not remember even when they read, where they read from. You feel yourself, you would feel you, you're touched, you're built, but you would not know what touched you. On the pulpit would put that is concerning to confuse a preacher. If the preacher is supposed to read the, in, the book, in, the, in the book of Psalms, you would confuse the preacher. Instead of reading the, the book of Psalms, he would re read other things. Instead of reading the Acts of Apostles, you would read the acts of other things. They were also concerned about things of, cons of, of confusing the preacher. When the word of God starts, the first thing I would make the, but I would, I would, I would find them, I would, I would start confusing the followers or the Christians with I would start confusing them with, with, with the words. I would start pricking the kids. They would start crying for, them not, for their parents not to hear the word of God. Even the year would come when someone has not heard the word of God. The prophet would, the prophet would, would prophesy the real prophecy, but the confusion the Satan would make them confused. In that time, I would make it, I would do the way I can. I would, I would make them think a lot, think home, think their business, think a lot of things in that they would just get, I would make their hearts visit somewhere. You find even when the church is full of people, but the people are not there in, in, in their spirit, they are not around. When I entered, I started using those bad spirits where we, there is where we call Nari Sesre. In Those are the behind chairs, the behind seats. When the word, would, the word of God starts, we would start confusing the behind people. Instead of the Christians following, following the preacher, they would start following the conversations behind. In that time, I had a mission of calling the servant of God I had brought all those bad spirits to scatter them everywhere. And the servant of God, when he stood up and was going to preach, I sent that the one bad spirit, one to begin from in front and the one from behind, from his back. They could spear him into, into the heart. He would fall down and vomit blood, meaning if he would... If he would fall down, if he would die from there, some would think, would, all the Christians would become confused and start, we, would, we would start whispering to them. We would start telling them he's been not a real servant of God, he has been not a serv he's been not real. And when the servants stood up, I sent those bad spirits, I wanted them to kill them. The one who came from in front, he, he, he met a word called hallelujah. When that hallelujah came out, it was like, was like a bomb. There is a way you, when you, when you say hallelujah, it comes out like a hallelujah. It burns everything that is in front of you, then you go ahead. Hallelujah is a word of, the, is a powerful word, is a word that is so expensive. That word came out like a bomb and it burnt everything. 
the one who had come from behind, he, he speared him. The servant of God sat down because he was so painful. He got a lot of pain. But then he said, because he was in spirit, he said, the person that is here, you wicked that is here, you are go I'm going to put you unto shame. I got scared. I felt this person, because he is so powerful, he is going to shame me. Because I knew God is powerful. I, I felt scared. I remember the word said when you reach in, in such and such a time or when you reach into a bad time, you call unto the devil's name. I called King of Kings to come and rescue me. When you rescue me, I will, sell, I will serve you for the rest of my life. When I was there, I had some powers lifting me up. When I was going to go, because the servant of God had other eyes, the spiritual eyes, he said, you go and your end will be, your end will be, to, you will be to be saved. He said, you go, your end will be salvation. And the curse he cast me went with me. When I reached there, at that time I had a salary that I, I had a, pay, a payment each day I would work whether I've made loss or not I would be paid 55 I would I was paid 25 strokes but that time but that time I was given 50 strokes because I had not done my work well there was a servant of God from Chigali to Butare. Run for that man not to reach there because in that conference we sent the witchcrafts, but they are not powerful. You have to know every conference, every seminar that is made, there are witchcrafts that are sent, there are wicked spirits sent to come and confuse, to come and stop the plan of God. Only that the plan of God will never be stopped. So when I reached after that payment, they told me to rush quickly to go and help those witchcrafts that were not powerful. I went and sat on and sat on top of an ecclesia because I came on the ego. I saw the car coming. When it reached near, I sent the demon to go and and do make the make the the driver blind and they will lose control and fall. That's what that's how it happened. The demon went and brained the driver, and they went off load. Uh, the car fell down. So the people ran to rescue those people. I'm showing you the powers of God. I'm showing you the one, the powers of God. But for the, pers for the first person to rescue is that man that I, I, intended, I intended to kill. Hallelujah. I heard that person singing when I opened up my ears. I saw it was the servant of God that I was going to kill. I felt scared. It was like that time of Meshach, Shadrach, and Bednego. In the weather, there was not even a smoke that reached their clothes. He went ahead with his gospel, even preaching. But even when they... Meaning, a prayerful person is, that is an expensive person. Because for others, at any time they want, they can kill them. But they always fight with a the prayers. Also, I had done the way I could. When I reached there, when I went back, I reached because every day I was I would be paid 25. By that time, I was again paid the 50 strokes. 
For the exams I did, there were many where they sent me the, in many places. I remember in one place they told me, run, there were, there were some people that were given gospel in Vibari where there was, where there was deliverance. In that time there were, there was power, there was healing power in Vibali. There was a lot of miracles. There was a lot of miracles from God. They told, there were some people from Mutala given message from God. God gave them message to bring them to Vibari for the people that were going to be healed in Vibari. And some of those that were supposed to be healed from there, there were some of their there were some of our our messengers that started working with church they sent me to go and confuse them for them to start speaking what they were not sent to say always it's not always it's not that the prophet the prophet saw the messengers of god are not sent but the devil is always there also is always there also to confuse them. In that time I went, uh, I sat in the corner, the church came together, I was waiting for the time of God, I also start confusing them, for them to speak what they were not, they were not sent to say. Always there would be a flag in white, in a word, in white color, and that would meaning meaning victory but there is where we would start we would reach when the flag is down meaning the 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 nation has got the nation has got a problem meaning when they would also start fellowship when the the flag is is down they would start it until its end we would make the Christians come late, the Christians who used to call my bobo, and the, uh, that Christian would be coming to church but called my bobo. The my bobo, those are people who used to come when the service has already begun and they go back when it has not ended. If the service is to start at nine, at nine exactly, we would see an angel of God coming down with a big light putting on white robe. In that time we would get out, that angel would come writing the name of everyone that has appeared in church. By 11 o'clock, he would close the book and get back with we would also come in again. For those that would cause them to come late, they would come when the other people had got their blessing. For those that we had, we had caused them to come late, they would, they would again go before the service ends. You would start, we would start whispering to them, you had a program, you had a business, you had such and such. Those, those people would again move back before the end of the service. When the service is ending, when the service would be ending, we would see again the angel of God come, coming back and writes down again the, the name of a person that has ended the service. After you would see yourself, you did not get the blessing of those that started the service, even the blessing of those that ended the service, you'd be not there. So those people would call them the my bobos because you like someone that leads yourself. You do not fall anywhere. But the plan I would give you, if you are a Christian, if you are a Christian and you play, and you love to fellowship, Respect the time of church. Respect the time of fellowship. <laughs> if the service is at nine, make sure at nine exactly you are there. And make sure you end the service because there is a blessing. That blessing given to you, it is written somewhere because it's a blessing from God. Meaning when we were, 
when we would use the ushers, we would manage to confuse, we would manage to confuse the church. Also, there would be part of us in confusing the church. That's why I'm saying every person in the in the work you're doing, every ministry that God called you, you have to learn how you are supposed to conduct it, the way you are supposed to handle it, the way not to just sing, not to just preach, not to just pray, not to just do anything, but you are supposed to know how you are supposed to lead the ministry you, you are called to do. When that time reached in the Bible, people was started to be filled by the Spirit of God. That time I saw Benjamin getting out, he came with the banana leaves, he came and wrote on the banana leaves, but he was writing prophecy. These things I'm speaking, they are things that I saw with my eyes. For those that would not understand, they will not accept it because those are things I saw with my eyes. He came and wrote on banana leaves. I went and approached him. I came, I came close to him. I saw what he was writing. There was an old woman called Yowanita who had given a testimony of how God had started dressing her in Chigari town. Because even... Even now, when I give this testimony, there are some people who are there that always remember what happened, and this is what I'm going to say. Yohanit had given a testimony about of how God had started clothes, giving her clothes and dressing her. The God had used the white men from America bring, to bring her clothes. And, go, and Yohanit stood up and said that God of heavens has told me she said God of heavens have said that children starting from 12 years to go down and they have the gifts of prophecy they would they have to stand up for the first people to stand up I was the first person because I had a mission that I was I was on when I stood up even other people other children stood up they called us in front of the pulpit. We started, they started praying. Yohanita said, God told me these children are the ones that are going to interpret the written, the written prophecy. They started praying and praying. By the time they were praying, I felt myself had changed into something because of the powers of God. Things started itching me. I scratched my body. I scratched my... Things started pinching me. Things started pinching me and pinched me. Because those people were so powerful, they had a lot of powers that could, they could swallow what I had. They had powers from God that is above all things. Though I thought I, I was powerful, but for them they had powers that could swallow my powers. I went back where I was seated. I sat down by the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is never ashamed. And the, the Word of God can see everywhere. After I sat, the children came running and they surrounded me. They started praying. By the time they started praying God, I had, the, I had fire burning me. I started burning. I had fire in me was burning. When I wanted to alarm, I remembered there was somewhere I had to ask for rescue. I heard a voice telling me, call for rescue. Again, you can be rescued. I had, I remember the word. I said, king of kings, because for that time I was calling Satan. I said, king of kings, forgive me and send me power. I rescue me. I will serve you for the rest of my, of my life that I will live. Because that's how I used to think. By the time I was speaking like that, I had the power, a lot of power. I had power coming into me. There, was, there were great powers. I felt power of fighting into church. And I thought, I said, if I fight someone, I break your eye. And I had, I had a lot of power, a satanic power. If I break someone's ear, if I break someone's eye, 
they will just concentrate on that person and I will get a way of how I will get out. If I was so powerful, I would, I would remain there. That means the devil can only bark but cannot bite. By the time I alarmed, I had a lot of powers entering me. When I was going to fight, by the time I was thinking of fighting, I, was, I saw a person was standing with a gap in his legs. In the middle of his legs, I saw a small space that I will enter and go through his legs. That's how it happened. That's how I did it. I went, I entered into his that person's legs, the man's legs, I went through. I went through the doorway, be it the prayer, be it the prophet, be it the singer, be it everyone. They all followed me running after me. I ran, they chased me, they ran after me. I went down, down the church. When I, was go- when I was going to fall into the toilet, I jumped over and ran away. I ran away and reached the, uh, reached the, the police in Yandungu. They went back, I also went. In short words, I did a lot of things. I, lot- I did a lot of work. They were sending me. But I remember one day, they removed me from one department and they took me to another department of visiting people in the night sleeping those people that sleeps and those people that sleep when they have bathed and in the morning they find themselves dirty you would go visit the, those people in the night you call them you give them a, a hole in the night they dig in the night they dig a big a big piece of land after, when it would be coming to morning, we would, took the, we would take them back to their beds. They sleep. I did a lot of things, only that one time they, they called me to go and make a second, a second covenant of making myself a frog. The other time I made a covenant of being, uh, making, changing into an insect, but now I was given another. Now I have a, a photo that I had when I was going to, to make a second covenant. I did a lot of work to dig loads, to start digging loads. Meaning when the servant of, the, of Satan uh, po- had powered bread, they would send us quickly to go and rescue, do a rescue. They would command us, they would command us to dig that, that load deeply that we would take the blood that has poured, been poured there because they used to find a lot of consequences because if the foot of, a, a pre, of a, an intercessor, a foot of, a foot of evangelist, a foot of a servant, any servant of God steps there where the servant of where the, the, serv, the, servant, the, mes, the Satanist messengers pour the blood. When an intercessor steps there, your, feel, your foot can release that person from there. Meaning no one jokes when you're playing. That's why they would send us and command us to dig in deeply in, a, in order that no person will step there and rescue the person there. For example, if someone pours bread in Wutare and a servant of God from another place and steps there, he can release you when he's in Chigari and you your, and I am in Butare. The power of that intercessor or servant of God would come and release you from there. So that's why they would send us to go dig the Lord deeply for us to take everything. When uh, I'm still 
speaking about that people sleep and find themselves they are dirty. But there are also other people that wake up and find they have blood in their mouth. They feed, those people are being fed with blood. The people's flesh, the dead bodies fresh when they are sleeping. There are others who wake up and find scars on their they find scars of their body cut when they didn't know when their body was cut. There are others also that sleep and find themselves having sex, having sex when they, not, they are not sleeping with women or men. Those can those can take me a lot of explanation because those people know themselves because those people know themselves that they do wake up and find they are in the acts of sex when and the person can sleep with can sleep with a demon and you conceive you be pregnant and produce a child other people sleep and find themselves conversing with a dead people and a dead person have no right of coming back to converse with a normal person. But the demon can put itself into an image of your person that died because the dead person have no right of coming back on the earth. But to those people that happens, that those happen, their things happen unto them, it is just by prayers and fasting. There are others who who be like this, who go to sleep, they think the Bible can protect them. Yes, the Bible, the Bible is a sword and it is a word of God. If you don't use it, it can't use itself. But if the, the Satan, if you see the devil come to you, you would say, the Bible says the devil can go. But if you don't stand in the Bible and and use the word that is in Bible, the devil cannot go. Other people make their Bibles like pillows. And they think.